In the Thoth Tarot deck by Alistair Crowley, the Ten of Cups is called Satiety. This choice of name reflects Crowley's unique interpretation of the card's symbolism and meaning. Satiety refers to a state of fullness or satisfaction beyond mere contentment. It implies a sense of complete fulfillment or abundance that transcends basic needs or desires. In the context of the Ten of Cups, this name underscores the idea of emotional and spiritual fulfillment reaching its peak. Crowley often chose unconventional names for the tarot cards in his deck to convey deeper layers of meaning or to align with his esoteric philosophy. In the case of the Ten of Cups, satiety emphasizes the theme of ultimate satisfaction and fulfillment that comes from experiencing deep emotional harmony and connection. It's worth noting that Crowley's interpretations can be quite complex and may diverge from traditional tarot meanings. In the Thoth Tarot, each card is imbued with layers of symbolism and esoteric significance, inviting the seeker to explore deeper levels of consciousness and spiritual understanding. In the Thoth Tarot, Crowley's interpretation often incorporates elements of his mystical and occult beliefs, as well as symbolism drawn from various mystical traditions, including Kabbalah, astrology and alchemy. The Tree of Life Symbolism In the Thoth Tarot, the Ten of Cups is depicted with the cups forming the shape of the Tree of Life, a central symbol in Kabbalah representing the divine structure of creation. This placement suggests a connection between emotional fulfillment and spiritual enlightenment, indicating that the ultimate fulfillment of the emotions leads to a deeper understanding of the universe and one's place within it. Astrological Correspondences Crowley assigns astrological correspondences to each tarot card, which can provide additional layers of meaning. The Ten of Cups in the Thoth Tarot corresponds to Mars in Pisces. Mars is a planet associated with energy, action and assertiveness, while Pisces is a sign associated with sensitivity, intuition and compassion. This combination suggests the dynamic interplay between assertive emotional energy and deep emotional understanding, emphasizing the need for balanced expression of emotions. Alchemical imagery Crowley often incorporates alchemical symbolism into his tarot deck. In the Ten of Cups, the overflowing cups may symbolize the concept of abundance and the alchemical process of dissolution, where the individual ego dissolves into the unity of the collective unconscious, leading to spiritual transformation and enlightenment. Emphasis on spiritual fulfillment While traditional interpretations of the Ten of Cups often focus on familial and emotional fulfillment, Crowley's interpretation places a greater emphasis on spiritual fulfillment and enlightenment. Overall, Crowley's interpretation of the Ten of Cups in the Thoth Tarot incorporates elements of mysticism, astrology and alchemy to provide a deeper understanding of emotional fulfillment in the context of spiritual enlightenment. It invites the seeker to explore the connection between emotional harmony and spiritual growth, highlighting the transformative power of love, compassion and understanding. Even in the context of spiritual and emotional fulfillment depicted in the Ten of Cups in the Thoth Tarot, there can be shadow aspects to consider. Escapism With Pisces being associated with escapism and fantasy, there is a potential shadow aspect of the Ten of Cups where individuals may seek emotional fulfillment through illusions or substances rather than genuine connection. This can lead to a detachment from reality 
and an avoidance of confronting deeper emotional issues. Dependency. The overflowing abundance depicted in the card may also suggest a potential shadow aspect of dependency where individuals become overly reliant on external sources, whether it be material possessions or relationships, for their emotional well-being. This can lead to a lack of self-sufficiency and an inability to find fulfillment from within. Spiritual Bypassing In the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment and emotional fulfillment, there is a risk of spiritual bypassing where individuals use spiritual practices or beliefs as a means to avoid dealing with unresolved emotional issues or personal traumas. This can lead to a superficial sense of peace and harmony that masks underlying psychological wounds. Illusion of Perfection The idyllic imagery of the Ten of Cups may also perpetuate the illusion of perfection in relationships and emotional fulfillment, setting unrealistic expectations that can lead to disappointment and disillusionment when reality fails to meet these ideals. Disconnection from earthly realities With the emphasis on spiritual fulfillment, there is a potential shadow aspect of becoming disconnected from earthly realities and responsibilities. This can lead to neglect of practical matters and an inability to effectively navigate the challenges of everyday life. Overall, while the Ten of Cups in the Thought Tarot signifies emotional and spiritual fulfillment, it's important to acknowledge and address these shadow aspects to ensure that the pursuit of happiness and harmony is grounded in reality and authenticity. Integrating these shadow aspects can lead to a deeper and more meaningful experience of emotional and spiritual growth. The Ten of Cups, or satiety in a love reading offers a comprehensive understanding of the dynamics within the relationship. Here's how it might unfold. The light interpretation, fulfillment and harmony. The Ten of Cups in a love reading represents profound emotional fulfillment and harmony within the relationship. Both partners feel deeply connected, supported and understood by each other. They share a sense of unity and cooperation, fostering a loving and supportive bond. Their love is abundant, unconditional and brings them a deep sense of joy and contentment. They celebrate their connection and cherish the love they share, recognizing it as a source of great happiness and fulfillment in their lives. The Shadow Interpretation Potential Pitfalls Despite the deep emotional fulfillment depicted by the Ten of Cups, there are shadow aspects to consider within the relationship. There may be a tendency towards complacency or taking each other for granted, leading to a lack of effort in maintaining the connection. Issues such as codependency or relying too heavily on their relationship for emotional validation may arise, causing tension or imbalance. There could also be a risk of becoming overly idealistic or unrealistic about the relationship, ignoring underlying issues or conflicts that need to be addressed. Additionally, there may be a fear of loss or abandonment that stems from past emotional wounds, leading to behaviors such as jealousy or possessiveness. The combined interpretation, navigating the complexity, in combining the light and shadow aspects, the Ten of Cups encourages the couple to navigate the complexities of their relationship with awareness and understanding. While they experience deep emotional fulfillment and harmony, they must also acknowledge and address any potential pitfalls or challenges that arise. This may involve fostering open communication, setting healthy boundaries and actively working to maintain the balance and integrity of the relationship. 
by embracing both the light and shadow aspects of their connection, the couple can deepen their bond, cultivate greater resilience, and continue to grow and evolve together in love. From the Book of Thoth This card is attributed to Malkuth. Here is the end of all energy. It is away from the formative world altogether, where things are elastic. There is now no planetary attribution to consider. So far as the Sephira is concerned, it is right down in the world of Asya. By the mere fact of having devised four elements, the current has derogated from the original perfection. The tens are a warning. The Ten of Cups is called satiety. Its attribution is Mars in Pisces. The watery sign has sunk into a stagnant dream, but in it broods and breeds the violent quality of Mars to petrify it. As it is written, until a dart strike through his liver. The pursuit of pleasure has been crowned with perfect success, and constantly it is discovered that, having got everything that one wanted, one did not want it after all. Now one must pay. This card represents a conflicting element. On the one hand, it receives the influence of the Ten, Malka the Virgin. The arrangement of the cups is that of the Tree of Life, but on the other hand, they are themselves unstable. They are tilted. They spill the water from the great lotus, which overhangs the whole system from one into the other. The work proper to water is complete, and disturbance is due. This comes from the influence of Mars in Pisces. Mars is the gross, violent and disrupting force which inevitably attacks every supposed perfection. His energy displays the greatest possible contrast with that of Pisces, which is both peaceful and spiritualized. 